Right, okay folks, so we're going to be talking about the frame cleaner. Now it's a few degrees below zero today, so everything has been stored in hot water in the bucket and this is our frame cleaner just here. So, I'll get the gloves on, because it's quite cold, just a few degrees below zero, it's about minus two, minus three degrees Celsius today. So, this is the frame cleaner. So, what it consists of is a car washing mitt. Now these are only about maybe three, four pounds to buy, so very, very inexpensive. And inside is an old Unger razor that I don't use anymore. Um, so obviously minus the blade, but you can use something like a six inch squeegee, anything like that. But anything around about six inches will fit the width of the car washing mitt nicely. So what you do is obviously like you see, you can dunk it in the water, this is the bit that's going to get the dirtiest, as you can see. It's always the top bit here, but give it a squeeze out, get all that excess water out, because we don't need it soaking wet, we just need it damp. Now, this method for cleaning the frames, I would only recommend really doing on maintenance cleans. For me, all my jobs are once a month, so I'm just usually taking off surface dirt, the occasional bird's mess, things like that. If it's a deep clean, you might need to get nose to glass, but for maintenance cleans, this is perfect for uh, getting off that surface dirt. So there we have it, just make sure that's just damp. Because what we want this to do is absorb some of the water as well as giving it a wipe, you know? So a bit like having a bit of a damp cloth, not soaking wet, but just damp. So I'm just getting all the excess out. And you only need to dunk this in the bucket every now and then when it's getting really dirty. But um, just for kind of keeping the, li the light dirt off of it, you can squirt a bit of water, wring it out with your hand, and then it's ready to go again. We'll pop that on the pole. Got our Gardner SLX 30 foot. So pop that on there. And that's why it's handy to have something like a six inch squeegee or an old razor, minus the blade, obviously. Uh, just thought I'd have to state that just in case. We don't want any accidents. So that's inside of the car washing mitt. And then just put that over it. So this is good for not only cleaning the frames, but also the sills of the windows as well, which we'll show you in a second. Right, okay, so you can do this one of two ways. You can either carry around two poles, one pole with this on it, and another pole with your accelerator, or you can have your accelerator in your bucket on a belt, and obviously have this on first. So first thing I do is, when I come across a building like this, is do one side at a time. So I've got windows at the front here to do, and then I've got windows around the back. Now this customer doesn't actually want the high windows done on the front, but they do have high windows on the back. So we'll show you that. But first of all, we've got a frame cleaner here. Again, I'll stress this is for maintenance cleans only. Don't do this if it's a first clean, because you'll need to get up nose to glass and give it a proper clean by hand up close. But because the majority of this dirt is just surface dirt, you know, you can get away with doing it this way. Okay, and you can see because it, the mitt is not saturated, the water's not flooding down the frame either. It's just a damp mitt. So it's just doing a perfect job at cleaning the, basically the stuff that I can't reach. Okay, so again, just give that a wipe, like so, down the sides. Just make sure that frame, everything that you can't reach, do with this first. Okay. Again, same again, up the top. Do your tops first. Sides. And it's just a, it's a good practice. Do the frames, panes, then sills. And this is also a very safe practice for not having to use ladders. So you can actually use this for doing high level windows like that and use your Mormon accelerator squeegee to clean the glass afterwards and you don't have to take your ladders out. So, uh, I'll take this off, okay, because that's the sort of higher bit here that I can't reach with the frames. I've got our accelerator. Okay, so the accelerator again has been dunked in water, a bit of soap on there, and we'll just rub it on this bit of glass here, just so the consistency is good, and then do the top bit. Okay, so here we are around the back. So we've got high level window here. So what I'm gonna do 
is give the frame a wipe. Now, if you use the two pole method, you could have your accelerator ready to go next to the window. It's extended the same, so two poles. And so you can do your frame like so. Give that a wipe like that. Okay, so that's the frame nice and clean. All right, and then you would put this down, grab your pole with the accelerator on it, and then do that window. I'm just gonna use this one pole here, which is not a problem, because I just put that in the uh, bucket on a belt and swap it for the accelerator, which is fine. But ideally, normally I would use two poles and just carry around two poles. And like I say, I don't have to carry the bucket because I've got the soap, I've got the water, and uh, actually I'll tell you what, because it's got a bit of a deep sill, I've got two clicks forward, put that on 10 degrees, and we're gonna then do the glass. So this is kind of how I do things. So I get all the frames done normally first, but because the rest of the windows are kind of round there, I'm just gonna get this one window done first and then the other windows around the back. I'm gonna clean all the frames and then change tools and then do all the glass. Okay, so that's that one done. Got this lovely job here. Okay, so we've got this framework to do there. So, I'll swap our tools over, the frame cleaner. Okay. Right, so we've got our frame cleaner on. Stand that up. And uh, give the frames a wipe. Just spider webs and surface dirt normally. Occasional spider mess kind of thing. Droppings. Give that a clean. And you can see, or well maybe you can't on camera, but I can see that the frames are nice and shiny. They're coming up. It's not like a dull look. You'll know when it's got dirt on it because this kind of PVC should have a bit of a nice shine to it. But if there's a lot of surface dirt on it, it'll look quite dull and because it's at this angle when you're doing sills it's a perfect example you've got your sill there because it's at this angle and you've got all that material underneath you can then do the sills as well so obviously you would do that after you've cleaned the window but just as an example you can use this car washing mitt to do frames all right so because that the rest of these windows are all reachable with the uh, hand cloth I'm just going to swap over to the accelerator tool now. Now I'm hoping because there's going to be heat on inside of there, the heat obviously rises and I'm hoping obviously this is not going to freeze up. So we'll see, but it is quite cold today. But I've got my antifreeze as well, so hopefully it should be okay. Got our hot water and antifreeze. So put some more of that on. You just have to work a bit quicker when it's cold. Yesterday I did an entire day with high level glass and did all the frames with this and then just swapped over to my other pole with this on it. Or you can just do what I'm doing right now, which is swap the tools over and then you only need one pole. So whatever is best for you, but this is just another method for doing maintenance cleans and cleaning frames. So hopefully that helps you folks and I'll see you next time.